Here I am with Josh McManus. Josh is fighting for the Fight UK Amateur Welterweight, welterweight title, and he's fighting John Robinson. Um, Josh, you obviously, you're obviously a veteran of Fight UK, yep. and obviously you know the format. Uh, tonight you're fighting for the title. How yep. are you feeling today, mate? Can't wait for it. I've been training my bollocks off, just putting everything into training, working on all areas, my takedown defense, my grappling, my stand-up, just everything, so I'll make sure I'm ready and I'm going to take the title out. Fantastic. Well, you seem very confident. Have you done anything specific for this opponent? Not really. I know John Robinson. I know he's been out for a while, but he's been concentrating on his grappling. I know he is a well-respected grappler, so I've just been sort of working on my defense, working on my takedown defense to just keep it standing and working on from there. Excellent. Well, look, you sound like you've prepared well. You sound very, very confident. All that's really left to say for you tonight, mate, is good luck tonight. And uh, we look forward to seeing you try to take the belt home. Thank you. Best of luck. Uh, here I am with John Robinson. John's one of our amateur title fighters tonight. John's fighting Josh McManus from First Legion. John, how you doing today, mate? Uh, yeah, feeling good, man. Just ready to fight now. So. Excellent, excellent. Now, you're training out a combat and exercise at the moment. That's correct, yeah. Excellent. How's training been going for you? Uh, great, man. No complaints. Everything's been great. A lot of guys coming over to spar with. Um, no injuries at all. So, yeah, just ready to fight, man. Good stuff. Well, obviously, Josh has fought on the show quite a lot. Yeah. He's, he's developing a little bit of a reputation in the amateur ranks. How have you prepared for Josh? Um, oh, to be honest, I know he's a well-rounded guy, prepared in all areas. I think I'm um, more well-rounded, to be honest. Um, I know he's got some good kicks, so I'm watching out for that. And then, um, yeah, I'm just prepared, man. Excellent. Excellent. Now, um, obviously, you, you, you've said you're, you're, that you're well prepared. Mm -hmm. um, this is your second fight. You're currently one and all. Yeah. Um, your first fight, um, obviously, it wouldn't have been on, on such a bigger stage as this. Yeah. How do you think you're going to cope with the crowd and the atmosphere? Uh, to be honest, mate, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I keep my cool, man. I'm, I've been, I had an amateur one before without the headshots, so it's, not, it's sort of my third really, but you know, I don't really count it, but um, yeah, I mean, I've been in there twice before, so it doesn't really bother me. Good stuff, and do you have any message for your reporting, John? Uh, no, mate, I, um, I'm looking forward to a good fight, I hope he brings it, uh, I'll bring it too, so. Excellent, well that's what we all hope for, for a title, we're hoping for a barnstormer. That's it. John, thanks very much, and good luck in the cage tonight. Thank you, oh, yep, thank you too much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing these title fighters properly. The challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Leicester. He's 19 years old, stands six feet tall, weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights out of First Legion, and has a mixed martial arts record of five contests, two wins and three losses. Let's hear it for Joe. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Nuneaton. He's 24 years old. Stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights out of combat and exercise. And has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for John Robinson. This welterweight title contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. Okay, guys. Any questions? Okay. Check softball. Time to obey my commands. All kinds. You want to touch gloves? Do it now. Let's go back. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welterweight I'm at a title fight between Josh McManus in the blue shorts, find out a first legion, and John Robinson in the white shorts, 1 0 out of combat and exercise. Both guys, Dave, know what it's like to be in here, know what it's like to win, more importantly. And it's McManus snapping off a nice leg kick early, trying to make Robinson react. Yeah, McManus does have a KO victory on his resume. It was at Fight UK, way back at Fight UK 3. So he has got power in his hands, McManus. It's Robinson pushing the pace. As the crowd start to get behind John Robinson, clearly got a, a lot of supporters in him. Yeah, fantastic support for John Robinson. Just with his back on the cage now. 
He's gonna nice wanna... knees from McManus, excuse me there, Dave. I really like the, the angle that he's swinging those in. And Robinson what, didn't care much for that treatment. As you can see, he's turned the fight around. He doesn't want to be taking those shots. Yeah, very, very damaging. Certainly some crisp Muay Thai early doors from Josh McManus. Robinson, possibly the more physically imposing guy. It's hard to tell. Both decent size in this amateur division. Real battle in the clinch now. We know, Ben, how draining this position is. Pros will often talk about this being one of the most draining aspects of the game. We've seen it quite a few times, Dave. Maybe not the most kinetic element of the game, but certainly one of the most fatiguing. Yeah, I really like the work, yeah. excuse me, sorry, that Josh McManus is putting in with these knees from the clinch. He's really taking every opportunity that he's got to swing those knees in at the thighs and different sides, inside, outside, mixing it up. This is really going to pay dividends in a fight of this nature, but he's got to be mindful of the neck. Yeah, Robinson fishing under. There's no arm in, and that looks tight. That looks very tight. Oh, good effort from McManus there, but clearly in trouble. And Robinson now trying to get deep in on that single, maybe try and run the pipe. It's hard to see actually from a vantage point. Might have been looking for a double there, Robinson, but a real battle of attrition here. And for me, Ben, as you mentioned, the, the, the Chris Knees and McManus mean that he is getting the better of this situation in terms of when his opponent's on his back, he's scoring more than Robinson is. Certainly, he's not resting on his laurels either. Nice level change, ducking down, trying to link the hands together, get the double. It's a legit tactic many fighters use, the likes of he just gets the take down there. Looking for a Kimura sweep, perhaps Robinson from the bottom. Got to be mindful of position here, Dave. He's got the submit, he's got the takedown, excuse me, and he's looking to finish the round in a, a good position. But he's got to be mindful of how he finishes this round. He got the takedown and he was able to complete it. But if the last thing the judges see is him really being threatened with the submission. Yeah, extremely tight one on the scorecards there. Very difficult to score from a commentary position. Wouldn't like to say either way or go against the judges' corner either way, but it, it, you know there wasn't much between them in the first. But Robinson, he has submission wins on his resume. So, oh, I say that nice jab to start off the round and a beautiful right hand for Robinson. Really snapped it out and that's made his opponent think. And I think he's cut him with that, Dave. That is a nasty looking cut from that shot. Yeah, it was a very crisp hand, right Above hand. The He's left come, eye. Out, come out very strong in this round to John Robinson. But to completely different set of affairs on the feet. Maybe got a right telling off from his corner perhaps during the round because he came out looking very crisp on the feet. And a, almost a bit, a bit of a new urgency to Josh McManus now. Like, came out a bit like today. He's got looking to exchange, but as soon as he felt that power, he, he came in and obviously something else we see Dave how is the sight of his own blood going to affect him how is he going to be able to deal with this so often we see and that's a big leg kick coming in for both guys yeah, it's Mark Woodard going to get the doctor in to have a look at that cut yeah shows the seriousness of it Mark Woodard extremely experienced official one of the most experienced officials in the country bringing in the doctor now to have a look at this eye it, it's hard to tell from our vantage point Ben but it was around the top of the eye so there is the danger of course of blood going down into the eye but as I mentioned it's very difficult for us to see the doctor deems it okay to carry on and that's um, going to be a real wake up call for McManus you'd think especially even just like you say that the disruption of that but having the doctor in he understands now the seriousness of this and from Robinson's point of view Dave a real bullseye above that left eye yeah, and he's shown a very crisp jab, so if he can target that jab over there. But McManus, oh, ooh, beautiful little reply from Robinson, but McManus busy as well, turning into a real contest here. That's a bad-looking cut as well. We just got a shot of it there as the, the fires came close to our position, right on the brow line as well, like you say, Dave. It's not going to take It's not going to take a lot more to open that up. No, and he just landed a fantastic lead right. He just cut off the angle nicely, did John Robinson. McManus coming forward, looking to throw, but Robinson ever aware. Yeah, Robinson contender seems to what you want if he can get one of his own off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to be uh, too bothered about standing up, McManus. I think that's possibly was his tactic from the outset. So, in some ways, uh, 
the cut might help him here because Robinson's definitely going to be looking to uh, keep the action on the feet. Nice counter one, two. Oh, I'm very impressed with the strike in that firing round two from John Robinson. Just very, very fluid. Definitely settled in oh, now. Nice body kick. And as you say, Dave Mark Woodard keeping a very close eye on the action, aware of that cut. And like you say, it can be a big factor in a, in a fight of this nature. Both fighters really want to take that bell home. And I mean, cut stoppages, we do see a few of them. It's maybe not the way that a lot of fighters want to win. But fighter safety, of course, Dave, especially at this amateur level being paramount. Yeah, definitely. You know, you don't want guys, especially this young in their career, picking up too much scar tissue, Ben. Especially if they're looking at a long, drawn-out... Uh, you know, amateur introduction, then looking to go into the pros. You don't want to be taking big cuts and, and taking more punishment on them. Oh, beautiful lead right again from John Robinson. And wow, what a difference in the second round. When Robinson was given the, the room to work, Ben, he really came alive on the feet. Excellent boxing, Chris jab. Landed the lead right on occasion. McManus looks like he's got more of a Thai style. He's got some nice kicks. For me, I'd have to give that round in the favor of John Robinson and it, it raised his hand himself after the round. He's feeling very confident now, Beth. And this is still all to play for here. I mean, I wouldn't be, ex I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, all sorts of scores, to be honest with you, because uh, the first, as I said, was extremely close as we move into the third and final round. I'm in a welterweight belt on the line between John Robinson in the white shorts at a combat exercise against Josh McManus from First Legion in the blue and red. Fighters exchange leg kicks, but it's Robinson holding the center a bit better. And as I say, that McManus comes forward. Robinson pushing the action, varying it a little bit. Two exchange leg kicks. McManus got a lot of tools in the toolkit, Dave, but you've got to think from it, from the mental side of it, how much difference is that cut going to make to him? And he wobbled him a little bit with that straight right. That's a good weapon for John Robinson, that straight right, right down the pipe. Crisp yeah. and clean, and a lot of times, Dave, he's had the most success in it when he hasn't set it up with a shot, when he's just thrown it straight down, shortest route. Yeah, that's it. Leading with the right hand, Ben. It's found its mark surprisingly regularly in this fight. Not even sent up with a jab. He has an excellent jab as well. McManus, he's looked to land those low kicks more in this round. But now we're in the uh, area where there's a bit of a stalemate in the first. So going to be very interesting now to see who's the most fatigued fighter. If a fever fighter can really get on top in this clinch position. McManus still looks dangerous in this position. I mean, even with his back to the cage, he still looks to be landing a lot of uh, a lot of nice crisp knees there. But the key in that in that exchange really was that it's the back to the cage, Dave. He's being controlled in that in that fashion. Yeah. And judges really got to weigh a lot of things in a in a consideration when they're looking at this fight and how it's eventually scored if it does go the distance. Yeah, it's extremely difficult to score this because you know one guy's dominating position, but the other guy seems to be scoring a bit more regularly. It's uh, a tough one for the judges, no doubt. It's a quandary that we both found ourselves in uh, throughout judging and, and a, a common one within the sport, like you say, a man with his back to the cage landing marginally, the better strikes. Very tough to uh, decide with the strikes, the control, a, a lot of arguments both ways. Yeah, because it's not as though John Robinson isn't busy either. You know, he is answering. But for Robinson, I think this is the area where he wants to stay just inside the leg kicks of McManus. McManus has definitely got some dangerous legs. So Robinson wants to just get on that inside and, and get the hands working. He's got a nice boxing style. Reminiscent in the UK, you know, you guys, you're sort of John Maguire's about in the... Uh, in Spat that the mouthpiece out there. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, Mark Woodard. Very mm. experienced referee, as I mentioned earlier, just popping it back in. But I think from Robinson's point of view, Ben, he probably thought he took the second, so he'd probably be content to just... This is very close as we go to the last 10. Both look to throw. This fight wow. is anybody's, Dave. What a yeah. close back and forth contest. The title on the line and both guys left it in there. It'll be down to the judges to render a decision on this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's have a round of applause for both title fight warriors. Okay, ladies and gentlemen,
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of hard-fought action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the judges have rendered a split decision. Judge number one scores about 29-28, Robinson. Judge number two scores about 29-28, McManus. And judge number three scores about 29-28 for your winner and new Fight UK welterweight amateur title holder. From the red corner, John Robinson! <laughs> but let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for Josh McManus. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with your winner and new Fire UK amateur welterweight champion, John Robinson. John, you've got to tell me, how does that sound to be the champ? Yeah, that's fucking awesome, mate. Brilliant. Uh, but, you know, I put in so much hard work training for this fight. My training camp, pretty much from the opponents I pulled out from the last one, has gone right way through. You know, I'm tired, man. I want to eat some cake. This has made it all worth it, you know. <laughs> Coming into the fight, you knew you were coming in against a tough guy. Did you think you were going to be able to get him out of there early, or were you expecting the kind of back and forth war that this inevitably turned into? Uh, to be honest, I know he's got really good kicks. All I've been thinking coming into this fight was, don't get fucking head kicked. Keep your, keep your hands up. Don't get head kicked. That's just, I know he's got good kicks, but I know my hands, I can, I can trade with anyone, you know. I've been traveling around a bit, traveling, uh, training with other guys. Um, going over to the rough house, they've helped me loads, which helped me gauge my level. My boxing coach, Lee Ferry, right there. You know, brought my hands on great. Um, that heavyweight champion, Chris Miles, always put the time with me. Rich, everyone else, Trevor, Rob Stevens, my coach. You know, they all put so much time in. Everyone at the gym, they've pretty much been tailoring the sessions around me, training for this fight. Uh, everyone, man, everyone has helped me get here. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful to all of you, so thank you. A fantastic performance. Let's hear it one more time for your champion, ladies and gentlemen, John Robinson.